Here's a close-up of the bag that I made. You can see how I show how I separated the red, white, and blue along the top of the bag. This is a Kumihimo style braid or cord and I have a separate video tutorial for that. But this is the bag that I created and then thought that the pattern would make a beautiful shawl as well. So that's how the shawl came about. There is a separate video tutorial for the shawl. You could either make it into a shawl or you could, this pattern would work for a scarf or a cowl. Here's a close up of the decoration along the bottom. But I show a close up view of this scarf, I mean, this shawl in the video tutorial for the shawl. So I was able to make this shawl and all three hats with one skein of each color. This is what I have left over of the th three skeins of different colored yarn. I had used Big Twist Sincerely. And again, this is what I had left over after making all of these hats and the shawl. And the only I just used a little bit of my burgundy colored yarn. As you can see, I didn't use much of the burgundy alternate color in the shawl or the hats. So now I have a complete set. Here's the flower. Again, this is a separate video tutorial for the crochet vintage rose. This is what it looks like after I sewed in the decoration in the center of the flower. Here is just a close up of the beautiful stitching. This is the baby hat. I made this one to fit about three to six months, possibly even older than that. Here's the opening. I show how to size the hat so you can get the size to fit that you want. Here's a close-up of the adult female hat that I made. See the different colors that I used. You can have fun with the colors. You can also roll up the bottom and it still looks pretty with the stitching. I also decided to make this gender neutral hat. I love the colors, the way it turned out, the charcoal, and then I alternated like I showed you how to make the seed stitch and it just turned out really nice. I made this the same size as I did the adult female hat and the different colors that I chose for that hat. You can make it as long or as short as you want to. I show how to size the hats. My little model is going to show you how I size the hats. This is her little baby bonnet hat. I have a separate video tutorial for that. But I'm going to show, use her to show you how to make the size three to six month old baby hat. For this project, I just have my pen and paper so I can write down the size. I'm using my F or four millimeter crochet hook. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle. As far as the rows, you're going to need, there's a separate video tutorial for the rows. And if you're going to make the rows, you'll just need whatever button or whatever design that you're going to put in the center of your rows. For mine, on the baby hat, I'm going to be using Ofre accessories. For this, you can use your tapestry needle to sew it on, or just a needle and some thread. I still have quite a bit of leftover yarn from the Big Twist yarn. I have the charcoal color, the gray, and then the beige. I was able to make a shawl and adult female hat, and now the baby hat with this yarn. Then for the touch of cranberry, I just used, you can use whatever yarn you would like 
for the touch of cranberry color. The first thing you're going to do is get whatever main color that you want for your hat. For my adult female hat, I use the beige or cream colored yarn. But for the baby hat, I'm starting with the gray. The first thing that you're going to do is I'm going to show you how to size your hat. So to size your hat, you're just going to take your yarn, you're going to fold it over on itself to form a loop, then take your crochet hook, go right through the loop, and then hold the base of the loop with your middle finger and thumb. And you're going to make yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and then go through that loop for your slip knot. Then just pull on the loose yarn end to cinch the knot, and then just make the loop around the crochet hook. And then you're going to start your chain. I'm just going to show you how to make the chain. You just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and go through the loop for your chain. So that's chain two, three, four. Now you're just going to make your chain the size you want, either measuring it around your head or the baby's head. Then once you've made your chain, you're just going to take and make sure that it fits the circumference of the head. For my hat, I made it a little bit larger because I want mine to fit on the larger size side. So if you wanted it to be a precise fit, then you would just make sure that it fit around the head of the child. This one, this baby doll is about a three to six month old child and for mine like I said I just made mine a little bit larger so mine was going to be 72 so I started with a chain of 72 so that should fit a size 6 to 12 month old then for the larger adult hat the adult female hat I started with a chain of 80. So this one around the rim is a chain of 80 to fit the average adult female. So that's how you would size it. If this is too small, then you would start with a larger chain and make sure that it fits. And if it's too big, then you would start with a smaller chain. So once you know the size of the chain that you need, to fit the circumference of the head, then you just write that down so that you know how many stitches that you need to increase to. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So now you can take the chain out because we're not going to start with the chain. We're going to increase until we get to the size that we want and for mine I want to end up with 72. So the first thing we're going to do is just make a magic circle. You just take your yarn and drape it across your four fingers. Use your thumb to stabilize. Wrap the yarn around your two middle fingers and then hold it in place with your pinky and your thumb. Then you just take your crochet hook. Just go under those two loops around the middle fingers. You're going to bring up a loop. Then just yarn over, turn the hook upside down and go through that loop for a slip knot. Then you're going to make six single crochet into the magic circle. There's one. Two. Three. After you put six single crochet into the magic circle, then you just take your forefinger and your thumb and hold it at the base. You have these two loops on the opposite side. You're going to pull on one of them. If it doesn't close, you let go and pull on the other one. This one's closing, so I'm just going to close up the center. Then take the loose yarn in and pull on that. You don't have to worry about pulling it too tightly. 
because we can always close it more later. Then you're just going to turn your work so you can start crocheting into that first stitch. So you take your crochet hook, go into that first stitch. You're going to make two single crochet into each stitch around until you have a total of 12 stitches. I'm going to do one more with you. So I did two single crochet into one stitch. Now I'm going to make two single crochet into the second stitch. And I'm going to keep repeating this until I've completed a total of 12 stitches. Go ahead and finish and then come back. Now I finished 12 stitches. If you need to close the center of your magic circle, just turn your work over and pull on that loose yarn end, and then that'll close up the center nicely. So now we have a total of 12 stitches around, and we're going to start keep increasing the rounds until we have more stitches for each round. So we completed one round, and let me just show you here. You have one stitch, and for a beginner, I would recommend counting all of your stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we're going to keep increasing. For mine, I want to keep increasing to seventy-two stitches and so far I only have 12. Now you can take your yarn marker. I'm just going to use one of my scraps of yarn and place it right where I left off. For this first increase round you're going to make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. And then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochet into the second stitch. Go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around and then come back. So I have 18 stitches after completing that round then take your yarn marker, you're going to move it up to the next round. For this increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into two stitches. And then two single crochet into the third stitch. Then you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker and then come back. For that round I just completed 24 stitches and if you notice you are going in multiples of six. So we started with six single crochet in the magic circle then we had 12, then we had 18 and now we have 24. So after we complete the next round we're going to have 30. So I'm going to show you. So that's one easy way also that you can, when you're doing your initial measurements, you can make your measurement a multiple of six and that will help. So then you just take, it'll be a little bit easier. Now you can take your yarn marker and move it up. For this increase round, you're going to make one single crochet into the next three stitches and then you're going to make two single crochet into the same stitch into that fourth stitch and when you're finished you'll find that you're going to have 30 stitches for that round. So after finishing that round you'll see that you have a total of 30 stitches or that you should have a total of 30 stitches. Then you just move your yarn marker up for the next increase round because I want to increase all the way up until I have 72 
stitches. So for the next increase round, I'm going to make one single crochet into four stitches. And then two single crochet into the fifth stitch. And then repeat that pattern all the way around and then come back. So this is how my work looks so far. I just finished the fourth increase round. So here you could see that if it's a multiple of six, you're going to add six, you get 36, add six, 42, etc. as you do make each increase round. So for the adult female hat, I increased to one single crochet into 11 stitches and then two single crochet into the 12th stitch and then that left me with a total of 78 stitches. Since I wanted 80, then what you can do is just make two single crochet into one of the stitches near your yarn marker and then one single crochet into every stitch up to the halfway point and then just put two single crochet into any of those stitches, just one, and then that would increase that round by two stitches. So if you wanted to increase by three stitches, then you would just, wherever, you just kind of measure out one single crochet and then put two single crochet here, and maybe two single crochet here, and then two single crochet here. So you just stagger where you want to put those stitches, and that's, if you just make it multiples of six, then that would be an easy way where you don't have to do that. But that's just how you would increase your stitches. So for mine, I'm going to keep increasing until I get to my 72 stitches. So that means I'm going to keep increasing until I have one single crochet into 10 stitches and two single crochet into the 11th stitch. So right now, I'm only, I finished the four. So my next round will be one single crochet into five stitches and then two single crochet into the sixth stitch. Go ahead, keep increasing to whatever size you want for your hat and then come back and I'll show you the next step. This is what my work looks like so far and I just finished one single crochet into 10 stitches and two single crochet into the 11th stitch and I have a total of 72 stitches all the way around. Now, after I'm finished with my increase rounds, then you just take your yarn marker and move it up, and you're going to make one single crochet into every stitch around. For my baby hat, I made one single crochet in every stitch for four rounds. For the adult female hat, I made one single crochet in every stitch for eight rounds. So again, I'm making the baby stitch, baby hat now, so I'm going to make one single crochet into four rounds. For the adult female hat, after I finished the increase rounds, which was one single crochet into 11 stitches, and then two single crochet into the 12th stitch, and then on the next round, I just added two more stitches to give me a total of 80, or you can just leave it with 78 stitches, and then make one single crochet in every stitch around until you've completed eight rounds of one single crochet in every stitch for the adult female hat. So now, if you're making the baby hat like mine, then you're just going to make one single crochet in every stitch until you've completed four rounds and then come back. So I just finished four rounds, one, two, three, four of one single crochet in every stitch. You can see how it starts to form a bowl. That's what you want. And with these stitches, the four rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, each round should have had 72 stitches because you're not increasing. You're just maintaining that same number of stitches for four rounds. Now we're going to make the fun stitch. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch over because we're going to change colors. So you're going to go into the next stitch over. You're going to yarn over, 
Turn the hook upside down and bring the yarn through both loops on your hook for a slip stitch. Then you're going to finish off. You're just going to yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Then you're going to grab your next color and for mine I'm using my charcoal color. Then you just take and go into the stitch that you just finished off. You're going to bring up a loop. You're going to chain one and then just tie a knot and that will be how you change colors. I like to bury my loose yarn ends, so I'm going to carry both yarn ends as I work. Now this is called a crochet seed stitch. So for the first stitch, I'm going to make a single crochet, so I'm going to go into the next stitch over behind my loose yarn ends, bring up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and go through both for a single crochet. Then you're going to chain one then you're going to skip the next stitch. So you're going to skip this next stitch and work a single crochet into the next stitch. And that's the crochet seed stitch. So, you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, work a single crochet into the next stitch, and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around back to the yarn marker. So chain one, skip the next stitch, make a crochet into the next stitch. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around back to the yarn marker. This is what my work looks like so far. And I'm back to where I started. I just finished a single crochet. I have one more stitch before I'm back to where I started. So I'm going to make a single, I mean a chain one. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch. So I'm just going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then I'm going to go ahead and finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Then for mine, I'm going to add the cranberry color, the cranberry colored yarn. So I'm going to go into the stitch where I just finished off. This is the next chain one space right next to it. I'm going to take and bring up a loop with my cranberry colored yarn. I'm going to chain one and then just tie a knot. And again, I'm going to carry my loose yarn ends and then I'm going to bury them as I work. Then for the next stitch, since it's a chain one space, I'm going to make a double crochet into that stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to go into that stitch, so I'm actually going into the gray stitch that's beneath that chain one gap. I'm going behind my loose yarn ends. I'm going to bring up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through two, two loops remaining, yarn over and go through two for a double crochet. And that's how my work looks. Then I'm going to single crochet into the previous rows single crochet going behind the loose yarn ends bringing up a loop and making a single crochet 
Then I'm going to double crochet into the gray stitch. This is my chain one stitch. So I'm going to go double crochet into the gray stitch. So I'm going to yarn over, go into that gray stitch behind my loose yarn ends, bring up a loop, make my double crochet, and that's the pattern that you're going to repeat. So in the next stitch I'm going to make a single crochet. So I'm going to go into the previous rows, single crochet, going behind my loose yarn ends, bring up a loop, and make a single crochet. You can see the beautiful design that it creates. And this is what it looks like on the cranberry hat. It creates a really nice, pretty design. And then here you could see with the gray and the black. So I'm going to do one more with you. I'm going to make a double crochet now into the next stitch. And then a single crochet into the previous rows, single crochet. And you're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the beginning, and then come back. I'm just going to do another set with you. I'm going to go ahead and just trim my loose yarn ends and get them out of the way. And then I'm just going to show you one more set without the loose yarn ends. So I'm going to go into the single crochet of the previous row and make a single crochet. And then I'm going to make a double crochet into the previous row's gray stitch. That's the covering the chain one space. So go ahead, repeat that pattern all the way around, and then come back. So I just finished my last stitch and I'm back to where I started. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a slip stitch into that first stitch that I made. So I'm just going to yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then you can go ahead and finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. Now you know how to join colors, so you're just going to go ahead and join your gray color back. After you've joined your gray color, then you're just going to make three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So one single crochet in every stitch around until you've completed three rounds, which is the same thing I did for the adult female hat. So three rounds of one single crochet in every stitch around. So this is what my work looks so far. I just finished three rounds, one, two, three. I left in my uh, yarn marker to help me kind of gauge where my third round finishes. And you can see the color changes. Now I'm going to change colors again. I'm just going to make a slip stitch into the next stitch over. So I just yarn over and bring the yarn through both loops on the hook. Then I finish off, just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. This time I'm going to add cranberry. You can have fun with your colors. I'm just telling you how I did mine, but you don't have to do yours exactly like mine. You can have fun with it. Now I'm just going to take my cranberry yarn. You already know how to change, change colors. Go ahead and add your different colored yarn now if you want to. I just finished tying a knot. 
Now I'm just going to make a single crochet into the next stitch over. I'm burying my loose yarn ends as I work. Then I'm going to chain one. I'm making my seed stitch, so I'm going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. Go ahead, repeat this pattern all the way around, just like we did for the previous seed stitch, and then come back. Then, after I finished my seed stitch, then I joined my beige color, and you do the same thing that you did with your previous seed stitch. I'm making a double crochet into the next stitch over. There's different ways that you can do the crochet seed stitch. The normal way is to make a single crochet into the chain one space, but I'm changing it up a little bit. I'm making a double crochet into that stitch. Now into the next single, single crochet of the previous row, I'm going to make a single crochet. So just like I did before, double crochet in the previous row's gray yarn right below the chain one space. Single crochet into the next stitch. Then double crochet. This is the chain one of the previous row and I'm going to go right into the gray stitch of the previous row and make a double crochet. And I'm going to repeat that pattern just like we did for this one. Same thing with different colors all the way around. Now I'm back to where I started so I'm going to make my slip stitch. Then I'm going to go ahead and finish off. I'm just going to yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury in my work. Now I'm going to join my black yarn. Now after I've joined the black yarn, I'm going to make my chain one spaces above my single crochet stitch of the previous row and then a single crochet above my double crochet in the previous row. So since this is a single crochet, I'm going to make a chain of one skip that stitch, make a single crochet into the stitch on the previous row that's a double crochet, going behind my loose yarn ends, making a single crochet, chain one, skip the previous row single crochet, make a single crochet into the stitch that's a double crochet in the previous row, and then I'm just going to make my seed stitch all the way around. Single crochet, chain one, skip stitch, single crochet, and repeat that pattern all the way around back to the beginning. Then my last round is with the gray. And just like we did on the previous rounds, I'm going to make a double crochet into each of the previous rows, chain one space, and I'm going into the beige stitch of the previous row, single crochet in the previous rows, single crochet, double crochet into the chain one space. and this will be my last row. This is what my hat looks like after I'm done. And then you shouldn't have too many loose yarn ends. Go ahead and turn your hat inside out. If you buried your loose yarn ends, you should only have a couple of them to bury. Just take your tapestry needle, put it onto any of your loose yarn ends, and then just weave it through the inside of your hat. So you just kind of weave it through the wrong side of the hat and then just cut it. This is what the back of my hat looks like. And you'll keep that towards the back. This is the front. 
if you want to put a flower onto your hat. There's a separate video tutorial for the rose. This is what the adult female hat looks like. The colors that I used. Go ahead, bury your loose yarn ends and then come back. This is what the hat looks like on the doll. And again, I made mine slightly bigger than the baby doll's head. And then you could see how you could roll up the bottom portion of the hat if you wanted to. So I made this one more for 6 months to 12 months. But I showed you how to size it if you want to make it smaller to fit three, 0 to 3 months. I do have other baby items on my website or my YouTube channel. These are the purple baby booties, the match her purple dress. And now you know how to make the baby hat, you can make one to match the baby dress.